Bluetooth abscess. What the heck is that? Have you ever had one? If you had, it kind of sucks. It's not very good. But today, I'm going to talk to you about everything that has to do with tooth abscess, how we can cure it, how we can not get it in the first place. So let's go. Let's talk everything about tooth abscesses. So what is a tooth abscess? A tooth abscess is something that's called by a big cavity, potentially some trauma, maybe bacteria getting underneath the cavity that you previously had and it has gone into the tooth, in the inner portion of the tooth and it's starting to come out the other side. That is nasty. I know it sounds gross. It's like pus coming out of your mouth and it is pretty nasty. One of the signs and symptoms of it is you can physically see it if you pull away your lip or if it, wherever the heck it is, you can see this little kind of like pimply looking thing coming out and what is that? That is the bacteria and all the things that are trying to fight the bacteria coming through your gums. I know it's kind of gross, but that is what it is. You can also have a fever. You can feel lethargic. You can have this nasty smell in your mouth. There's a bunch of different signs and symptoms of a tooth abscess, but it can actually be very, very serious. And that is why I'm talking to you about today, because if it gets too big and it's potentially down in this area here, it can actually grow and grow and grow. And sometimes you'll see this and it is, well, maybe I see it more because I'm in the dental field, but you'll see this because some people come in with this big, big, big swelling here, and that can actually be pretty darn dangerous if it's not treated right away. It can be something that's called cellulitis or this big, big infection. And we may need to send you to the emergency room because it gets really, really big. It can actually go to the rest of your body and cause some severe, severe complications. So you definitely do not want to wait till it gets to be that, that big of a problem. But most of the time you're gonna come in, and you might have a little bit of swelling, a little bit of tenderness, maybe a fever, like I said, feeling a little lethargic, and you'll be able to see a little piece of pustule coming out. But you won't always be able to see that kind of pimple looking thing coming out because what happens sometimes is you'll get it and you'll see the little pimple thingy in the mouth and it's really nasty and then it kind of goes away. And I just had a patient that this happened to, I think yesterday or the day before, and they go, cool, it doesn't hurt anymore. Like, I think I'm cured, I think I'm good. And what do I say to that? I say, no, you're not cured, you're not good. Your body just doesn't spontaneously cure itself from a big, big, bad infection. It's kind of the same thought as, you know, say you got a big cut, a big issue on your hand, it's not just gonna kind of go away and your life is gonna be all good. If it's really big, you need some antibiotics, you need to close it up, you maybe need to suture it, you need to do something to help heal it. And that is the same thing that happens inside your mouth. These things don't just spontaneously cure themselves. Even if we give you antibiotics and really strong antibiotics, you are not gonna cure it because that bacteria is like living inside your jawbone and it just can't get cured with just antibiotics because it keeps replicating. Even if you get it down, 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 so there's not much bacteria, it's still, once you stop your antibacterial stuff, it is gonna grow and come back and potentially the pain comes back, but sometimes it doesn't because now there's not as much pressure in that tooth for all that bacteria. So it's just gonna grow and grow and grow and grow and then it may start to seep out and you, so you basically have a really severe active infection that is why when people come in with an abscess, we say there's multiple ways to cure it and we need to do it as soon as possible to make sure you're healthy because you don't want this spreading to other parts of your body or other parts of your jaw. How do you treat a tooth abscess? Well, there's basically two main ways. One, number one, take out the tooth. If it's severely infected, you can't save it, you're probably gonna need to take out the tooth. And remember, you're gonna need something in that space to replace it because if you don't, all sorts of negative things are gonna happen, which I've already talked about in another video. Number two is you might, if you don't need to take it out, you can still save it, you'll need to do something called a root canal or root canal treatment. And that is when we go in, we take all, all the nerves and the blood vessels of the tooth and then fill it with some inert substance that's gonna save that tooth and clean it up really nice and good. A lot of times we'll give you antibiotics to help that tooth, help it heal, help the jaw heal, because now you've actually taken out all the bacteria so your tooth and jaw can heal a little bit better. What are five things you can do at home to help you relieve some of that discomfort from this tooth abscess, number one? Well, you're probably already taking it if you're watching this video, it's over-the-counter pain medicine. You do not want to go above and beyond what they say is allowable for that particular medicine that you're using, but that may help relieve some pain. Number two, you can do a cold compress, and this is, we're just trying to eliminate the inflammation. Remember, these are all very temporary <laughs> type solutions. Number three is benzocaine, which you can also get at any, most drugstores. That is just kind of a temporary relief gel that can help alleviate some of the discomfort. Number four is cloves. Yes, sometimes it's like a home remedy. Sometimes cloves will help relieve some of that pain. And actually some of the studies say that it works just as good as benzocaine. 
So that's one of the things you can try. And then tea bags, and I've talked about tea bags in other type of videos, and tea bags can help relieve some of the discomfort you're feeling from that abscess. But none of these things can help totally cure the abscess. Remember, these are very, very temporary. You should go into your dental office if you're not located here in Dallas, Texas area. You should go somewhere else, go to your dentist and get this looked at because remember, like I said, these abscesses can turn into something big and we do not want that to happen to you. There you go, that is everything to do with tooth abscesses. You know why they happen, you know how to cure them, you know what you can potentially do at home to help you out. But remember, if you think you have a tooth abscess, just come into our office or go into your local dental office as soon as you possibly can because you do not want it to spread. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Dr. Nate here again at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics. I am putting out videos every single week, so if you have any value in this video, please subscribe. Please comment below, and I will see you in the next video.